Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Cassie Mann, and today we're going to be putting together a brand new pedal board. This is the Pedal Board Lite by Mono Creators, and it's really small and compact, and I'm really excited to put it together. This is the Tick 2.0 case. This is also used for little accessories. You can put some cables in here. You can put anything else in the zipper pocket. There's also this pocket that has other little slots for pencils or pens or whatever other doohickeys you can keep in there. It's one piece of aluminum. It's super lightweight. The pedals I would say that I'd use on every gig are the Boss TU3 the diamond bass compressor, TC electronic sub and up. Sometimes I'll use some kind of dirt to go before the octave pedal. So today we're gonna put the bass big muff on there. So as you can see, this is a pretty small board. It's gonna be pretty snug to get all of these on here, but I think that's part of the fun. So first things first, let's clear the board. And now we're gonna put the Velcro on it. Now, originally this board came with some clear dual lock, but because all of my pedals currently have Velcro on them, I'm just gonna use my leftover Velcro that I have. So we're gonna need some scissors for this. Good thing I have some. And we're gonna just make sure that this is gonna fit. It's gonna just fit. And we'll just measure out how long this needs to be. Alright, so we've got a couple places we need to cut. Stuff's really sticky. It's good, I guess you wouldn't want it falling off or anything. So we have our two soft side Velcro strips cut. All you have to do is peel the sticky side up on the back and place it on as straight as you can. One thing that I forgot to mention was that you need a power supply that's gonna fit underneath the board. So this board isn't very thick. And so I might have to buy a new special one. Currently, this is my other board. You can see I took all my pedals off of it. Um, I have the Pedal Power 2 Plus from Voodoo Labs, which is actually, whoa, which is actually screwed underneath there. Yeah, it doesn't fit. It'll fit on top, but I don't really want to do that. So we're gonna put this back on the other board. We're gonna buy a new one. So I think I need to get some new cables and a new pedal power for this to work. Okay, so I'm in the car now. I've got my pedal board with me and we're gonna drive to Lone McQuaid in Dartmouth to go visit my friend Caitlin Bonomo and she's gonna help me get a power supply, some new cables. We'll see you there. This is Caitlin. She's gonna help me with my board. This is the power we're gonna get. It's the True Tone One Spot CS6. This is the baby board. All right, here it goes. Yeah, that's better. I don't, don't see if that fits. I guess it's gonna. Look at that. And then if you actually. Oh, okay, and the power is on the side. Okay, perfect. And then if you actually like do it this way, it'll be like kind of. Yeah, like can I try it on the floor? Just yeah. To see? Like, it's just the thickness. I'll probably keep it like this because then I can have access to switches. Oh yeah, that's fine. Perfect, like perfect fit. Yeah. Cause yeah, what I was worried about was like, cause my other one is like way too tall. Yeah, well like the Nano, like when I had the, the pedal train Nano, it like would, uh, it was too thin on the side. So mm -hmm. I couldn't put one of those. Cool. Uh, Sweet, yeah, that'll work. And all the cables are there stuff and then, does it have like the mounting bracket or do I need to buy that separate? I think you gotta buy it. Okay. Uh, you're screwed. Yeah, I don't think it has the bracket, but I wonder if we have any in stock. Oh, a drill template. Oh, so, so I think you just screwed those into the board. I don't know if there's an actual. Let's see. Okay, so I forgot to film me putting the power on the pedal board but it's on there. I also um, put the Velcro on prior to getting the pedal power. So the screws are over top of the uh, 
the Velcro. We'll see if that affects when I put the pedals on, but it's on there, it's secure, super easy to install. It even came with this little drill template that is supposed to help get everything um, lined up properly. It was super easy. I just had to drill three holes with a 3 16th of an inch drill bit. So I used this template, I put it where I wanted to on the back, just kind of circled with pencil where the holes were just so I didn't have to tape this on. You can tape this on and drill through the holes. So now we have the True Tone One Spot CS6 Pro mounted to this board. There's really only two main options that I was gonna go for for a low profile pedal power. Um, basically I needed one that would fit under this board because it's really, really small. So it was either between this one or the Chox DC7. And that one was significantly more expensive. This is gonna be great for what I'm doing right now. I don't need a big board anymore. You can see here, I have all of these pedals and a Tupperware container, just like chilling out. There's even some more in there somewhere. But basically, you know, the plan is that I only need a couple on my board these days. I don't use a lot of pedals anymore. I really only use my tuner, my compressor, an octave, and maybe a fuzz. I don't know, I might put my chorus back on because that one's a good one to have, especially because I haven't really been digging the big muff sound lately. Let's get this board underway. I also got some new patch cables from Ernie Ball. You can see here that they are have these flat right angles, but like, the ones that I had before, which are these ones, um, they're a little bit chunkier than these. You can see the difference there that these ones are a lot shorter than these ones. So I should be able to um, save a little bit more space on the pedal board. So yeah, the first pedal we'll have on the chain is the TU3. We'll go have a cable going into the output and that's going to go into my diamond bass comp. So we'll go into that and then we'll try and get these as close together as possible. I know I'm going to put the octave pedal on, so let's see that next. We'll go out the bass comp into the sub and up. Now, do we have room for a fourth pedal? Oh, it's gonna be tight. Let's see if it fits in the case. Oh yeah, cool. It fits totally great. Look at that. So now that we have these connected, let's get the power to them. So before we tie anything up, let's actually just plug it in. Okay, that works. Turns on, turns on. So now we can just clean up these cables, keep them nice and tight so that nothing comes loose, comes undone. Last thing you want while you're playing a show is for your pedal board to just randomly turn off because you didn't tie your cables together. And I'm just gonna use these twist ties that came with them in the first place, just cause it's easy. Then you can just undo these um, and you don't have to like cut any zip ties or anything. So I think that's great. Definitely a great option and you're not wasting anything. There we go. So that's how I would put together a mini pedal board. This is the Mono Pedal Board Lite. I love Mono stuff, all of the stuff that they have. I also have their uh, 61 key keyboard case and I have their uh, single bass case as well. And they're my favorite. They are definitely on the pricier side, but I think it's 100% worth it every time. They are really well made and yeah, I, I can't say anything bad about Wano cases except for how expensive they are. But you know, if you wanna keep your gear safe, it's kind of the price you have to pay. If you like seeing videos on music gear and pedal boards and pedals and stuff, uh, let me know 
and I will definitely make more. I have some ideas for some other music type gear videos that I want to do. So um, hopefully that's something that you would be interested in. And if you're not, stick around and hopefully I'll have something else that you'll be into. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a good day.